Hello and thanks so much for taking the time to actually watch my video. Um, this video is all to do with the subject of failure and why I believe a lot of people that have this fear of failure um, basically lets it hold them back. Now, when we think of failure, we think of obviously people that are not achieving, that people might have tried something and they haven't succeeded, they're not getting on in life and they haven't perhaps... You know, they have, they've tried a business that hasn't worked. And people seem to worry so much about what other people think about them that it actually, in my, in my view, actually holds them back. Now, to me, failure um, is obviously what I just said. It's obviously when you try something and when you obviously don't succeed. But the biggest failure that I can see that anyone can not make is not doing what it is they want to do anyway. Because, yes, you might be thinking, oh, but if I try that, I might fail, and it won't work, and people will think negative of me. They'll think, oh, he's failed. But for me, I, t I try and turn it around. I actually turn it around, and I question myself. I say to myself, well, forget about what these other people think, because these other people, they're just, you know, they're just spectators. They don't matter, yeah? If you try something and you fail, so what? So what if someone thinks that of you? To me, I honestly don't care. What would make me think that I'm a failure would be if I thought I could do something, if I thought that I had an idea and I didn't do it. Don't you see that if you have an idea and you really think that it could work, you think that you might be able to, um, you know, have your own business, you might be able to do something, start your own little company, an online business, whatever it might be. Don't you see that if you don't do it, you are a failure. If you actually don't decide to run with what you're thinking because you're worrying about what all these other people about you are, are telling you, you might have someone who's telling you it ain't going to work and then you decide to not do it, yeah? That person who's told you that is a negative person anyway, right? So he wouldn't even enter my equation. He wouldn't even be in my view, right? Because I don't listen to these negative people, right? You are a failure if you have an idea and you don't decide to give it a go. So next time when something comes in your mind and you think, you know what, I might be able to do that. I might be able to, you know, this might work. This might, um, you know, this could, this could be good for me. This could be good for my family. And then someone perhaps makes a negative comment or like a lot of people, they have this little gremlin that starts telling them, you know, but what if you fail? Yeah, you need to say to yourself, if you don't try it, then you really are failing. You've already failed because you've not believed in yourself and you've not told yourself that you can achieve, right? Because failure is in your head. Failure is all in your mind. It's your mindset. Most people, they get up every day, they have a list of things to do, which is obviously going to get them through the day and which is going to perhaps uh, make, them be able to, uh, to make them be able to sustain um, where they're living and how they're living at the moment, yeah? A lot of people, they have it in their mind, well, I need to earn X amount of money so as I can pay my bills and I can and I can carry on. And that's fine. If that's you, there's nothing wrong with that because obviously you're, you're, you, by the sounds of it, you're like me. You're trying to provide for your family. But if you're the sort of person um, like me that thinks, you know, I often have ideas, some of which... Uh, turn out to be good ideas, some of which don't. It doesn't matter, yeah? Because no one, no one really cares, really, about what you're doing. You know, people around you, your friends, even your family, your family might care, but they don't care to the, care to the degree that they're really going to have any input in it, right? So it's your decision. What this basically comes down to is that it's totally and utterly your decision whether you decide to try and succeed and have a go at something or whether you decide 
to stay, as I call it, on the sideline. And you become one of these people that just carry on plodding away. Yeah? Um, an example of this is me with my YouTube channel. Now, I ain't doing fantastic on YouTube. It's something that I really generally enjoy doing. And it's something which I want to pursue. Now, I know there's people, um, people that I know who, who will have their opinion, you know, of, of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and whether or not it'll work or not. But, you know, I frankly don't care what they think. Yeah? That's me. This is how you've got to be. You've not got to care about what other people think about what you're doing. Because you get to decide. Yeah? You get to decide what you do. You, When you get up in the morning, you can either do something constructive or you can decide to sit and waste time. You can either get up in the morning and do something that's going to make you feel better or you can sit and waste time. You can either get up in the morning and go for a walk and start looking at around, you know, looking at your environment, which obviously makes you feel good, or you can sit and do nothing and waste time. You get to decide. So why are you thinking? Why are you worrying? Why are you preempting what these people are going to think about whether or not you succeed or not? Yeah? Because it doesn't matter. It's difficult to obviously absorb this and to obviously, if you like, make yourself feel, uh, think this way. And But that's what my video is aimed at. It's aimed at you, basically, if you've got an idea, saying to yourself, well, hold on a minute. If I try this and it don't work, what's going to happen? What's the worst thing that can happen? The worst thing that can happen is it doesn't work. You know, you might have put a little bit of money into it and it hasn't actually happened for you. Well, guess what? That doesn't make, in my books, in my personal opinion, that doesn't make you a failure. It makes you a trier. It makes you somebody who has thought of an idea and you've decided to give it a go. Yeah? To me, um, if you spoke to me about, if you spoke to me about this subject, about you were thinking about doing it and then, kind of people around you were kind of leading you the other way against your idea. And then you said to me, you know, Colin, I don't think, you know, I don't, I don't know this is going to work. And, um, you know, people around me, my family are putting me off and I've decided not to do it. Then I would turn around and say to you, well, you are weak and you are a failure because you've let other people influence you into doing something which you believe in, yeah? You know, what would have happened? I mean, I ain't gonna go through all the names, but what would have happened with these people in history, these people that have built these, you know, Facebook and Twitter and these people who've had these ideas, what would have happened if if somebody had said to them, well, I don't think that's gonna work? You know what I mean? You know, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, the guy with Facebook, he wouldn't be a billionaire today. If someone has said to him, look, I don't think that's going to work, people ain't going to be interested in doing that. He didn't. He went for it and he decided that he would he would put his heart and soul into it. And as a result, he has achieved greatness. No one knows. Whatever you endeavour to try and do, whatever it is, you've, little idea you've got, whatever you think that might work, whatever you think could, could potentially grow into a massive business, Nobody knows. Nobody can see the future. It's like me. My my goal is to try and do well in personal development now. It's, it's something which I'm not doing full time. I've got my own job. Um, I'm in sales and marketing. Yeah. Um, but I would I would love I would love to one day be able to be in a position where I'm helping people in business and I'm helping people to grow their business and to, and to help people grow obviously in their selves to achieve more. That is my, if you like, ambition now, yeah? I know it ain't gonna happen overnight. It's, it, it's, it's not gonna happen for me overnight in the short term. But it, to me, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, yeah? It's, it's, I've, got, I've got an idea, I've got an opinion, I've got something which I, which I I believe eight, I believe 85, 90% in that something could work. And I'm going with it. 
if somebody if somebody around me, yeah, wants to make a negative comment, wants to um, you know, uh, ridicule what I'm doing, wants to say, oh, he's wasting his time. He's to me, I don't care. I really, really, one hundred percent don't don't care. Yeah, why? All I think about is how I will be in five, ten years' time if I have got a good business, if I have achieved what I want to, what I want to achieve. Because that's all that matters to me. All these other people that are living, that are living their normal lives, they're going to work nine to five, they're doing something, they're exchanging their time for money, right? To me, um, they are the ones that, that, that are not pushing their self to achieve more, not me. So, you know, this fear of failure, you need to start reminding yourself why you're so worried about failing. Yeah, why are you so worried about these other people? These, these, you know, some of them are going to be negative people, downers. Are they even qualified to talk to you about what it is your, you know, what it is you want to achieve? Something I don't, something I do now. I done a video, a video, a video on it the other day. Is if I'm thinking about doing something and I've got an idea, I don't even talk to people about it who I don't. Um, value yeah who i don't value if i know somebody who's out of work who's a bum who don't do nothing who, who don't who's got no no uh, ambition in life he doesn't want to move forward he's happy he's happy and that's good if he is happy staying where he is i won't get into a conversation with someone like that about something that i'm thinking about doing because what's the point he probably ain't going to have anything constructive to say He's probably going to be negative about what it is you're thinking about doing. So why would you give yourself that grief? When people talk to me now about YouTube, um, I had somebody in my family a while ago say something negative, and I just, I said, it's nothing to do with you. Um, what I do is what is what I do. I've got my own reason for doing it, and that's it. And, and if ever I met him again and he started talking about it, I'll just say, I'm not going to get involved in talking about that. It's my business. It's what I'm doing. That's it. I don't even let the people now give me a negative comment. I don't get into conversations with people who are going to make me feel negative. You see, this this belief, this um, um, worrying about failure, yeah, this worrying about failure, it all stems from the people who are around you, yeah? Your whole life, your whole life, how you feel, how you act, how you talk, how you believe, how you don't believe, it all stems from the people that you've got around you, yeah? But you need to remind yourself that these people, they don't matter. If you've got an idea and it's something you believe in, why even tell them about it? Why not just do it? You know, if you've got something in your mind that you might be, um, you know, worried about what people think, it might be something that, you know, for whatever reason, you're, you're, you know, you're, you've got this fear, this worry of, of these people around you. About it, it's like me, perhaps on YouTube, I could have worried about people watching my YouTube videos and not told no one. Well, if that's you, if you are worried about doing something, don't tell them. It might be that you're looking to do something on YouTube. You might be, you know, perhaps uh, good at cooking and you might be thinking about starting your own cooking channel. Yeah? Well, why don't you just start doing it and not tell anybody? Just don't tell anybody about it. And then if all of a sudden you start getting, doing well at it and people start, and all of a sudden one of your friends says to you, I see you in a video the other day. You can just say, oh yeah, it's something I've been doing for a while. You haven't got to tell them your business. Some of the biggest mistakes I've made in my life, some of them with money as well, is where I've told, told too many people about my business. Yeah? So keep your business to yourself. Yeah? You know, and if you are worried about this failure, if you are worried about, you know, this, whatever it is, this opportunity that you're trying, don't tell them. It might be like you know that you've perhaps got involved in one of these um, like uh, networking things, and someone says to you, "Oh no, that's a waste of time. That 
that ain't going to work, that's pyramid sales, and that's gonna, not going to be no good for you. But these people don't know what they're talking about, because there's people who have done network marketing who have become millionaires. It's all down to the person. It's got, it's, sometimes it is to do with a network as well, but it's usually, if it's a good network, and it's a reputable network, yeah, um, yeah, one that's been around a long while and there's people earning money at it, then if you, why ask somebody about it, ask their opinion, only to have them shout you down and tell you you're wasting your time and then you don't do it. And then guess what? You failed because you've not tried. Yeah? Biggest mistake I've ever made sometimes is telling people my business. Don't let everyone know what you're doing. If you want to try something and it's a little side business and you think it's going to work, give it a go. And then if, say, six months, a year, a year down the line, it hasn't worked out for you. you know, whatever it is you've tried, you might think, Do you know what, I'm putting a lot of time into this. It hasn't really worked out for me. Um, I'm going to stop doing it. Well, guess what? You've... You, you, uh, You've not failed because, in my opinion, you would have tried it. You've just not uh, succeeded at that particular business. But see, if you haven't told no one, no one needs to know about it anyway. So don't worry. You know, if you can't get past this fear of failure and, and having the thought of people thinking about and knowing what you're doing and knowing that you've perhaps failed, don't tell them about it. It's, it's your little secret. It's your little business. Why has anyone got to know about it? You can start buying clothes. I know a lady, uh, she buys clothes. Uh, yeah, like she buys like job lots of clothes and she lists them on eBay. She's doing really well. But I don't know whether her friends know about it or not, but they don't need to know. It's something you can do from your own home. No one's got to know what you're doing. So don't tell them if you don't feel comfortable about sharing, it, sharing whatever it is you're doing. It's your business. But if you're like me, I still think you're better off being like me and thinking I don't care. I don't care what these people think. I really could not give a monkeys what they think about what I'm doing or why I'm doing it or whether they think I should be doing it or not. Because it's nothing to do with them. Yeah. I look at it. If someone said to me about they were going to try a business and all that, I might say to them, if it was me and someone asked me about a business and whether they should go into it, I would obviously look at what the business was. But I would try and encourage them. I would try and help them. I would try and use what I know about business, um, obviously, like lead generation. And, you know, I would try and help them. But there's so many people that are not like me. There's so many people that are destructive. And all they want to do is cast a shadow on whatever it is you're trying to achieve. So, and you know who these people are. You know, they stick out a mile. They're usually the ones with no money. They're usually the ones who are just, you know, they're just existing. Why are we even talking to these people? Why are we, why are we um, giving any weight, any weight to what they're talking about? I don't even talk to people. If I if I think someone is uneducated, has got no knowledge about, you know, marketing or business or anything like that, I won't talk to them about it. I'll, I'll be pleasant. I'll be polite, but. That's that's yeah. That's as far as it goes, because I don't value this person's pin, uh, this person's opinion. Yeah, start talking to people who 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 you want to become like, business minded. These are the people that you want to be talking to. The people that can share and add something to your business. Yeah, who can encourage you, can lead you in the right direction, can give you contacts of people that can help you. Yeah. These are the people that we need to be um, mixing with. They talk about surrounding yourself with successful people. It's true. I've had it in my own business where I've spoken to people in my lead generation uh, business and um, I've actually got contacts through other people for people that want business leads and I've profited as a result of it because I'm mixing with other people that want to earn money that want to do well, yeah? This is what you got to do. you got to stop, think, stop worrying about the fear of failure and turning it around and say to yourself, I am a failure if I don't do it. If I listen to that person that's put the mockers on 
my idea and I and I let him talk me out of it, then you are a failure. Yeah, you need to turn it around. Yeah, if you don't pursue something which you know could work for you, yeah, then you really are a failure because you are, you're not believing in yourself. You need to start believing in yourself, yeah? I've done videos about how to uh, believe in yourself more and how to overcome limiting beliefs. And when you go back through your life, when you actually go back and you look at all what, you know, why you are the way you are, it's because of the people around you. That's what it's all to do with. It's to do with the people who are around you. So you've either got to um, stop listening to the negative people that are around you. And obviously, I mean, some of them could be family. You know I mean, if you've got people in your family that obviously you love and you care for, but they're negative, you obviously can't disconnect from your family because obviously it's your family. But you can stop paying attention to what they're saying. You can stop getting involved in conversations about what you're proposing to do and save those conversations for somebody who is more like you, more business minded and perhaps more driven. Yeah. I hope, really hope this video has made you um, um, look at failure in a different way. Because like I say, for me, failure, failure is the person that didn't try. Yeah. If you've got an idea and you don't run and you don't run with it, you are a failure. Yeah. You, you are a failure. You know what I mean? You're not a failure if you try something and you fail. Not in my book anyway. Yeah, because I look at all the, I look at my life. I've tried lots of different things, and I've not, and I haven't, I haven't, I've never really made loads of money. I've, I've always had a good life. I've always been able to provide for my family, and my wife sometimes says to me, "Well, you are successful. You are successful just because you haven't, you know, you're not a millionaire and you haven't got a big mansion and all this, doesn't mean that you're not successful." You know what I mean? So I've done a video on that as well about how you, know, how you measure your success. Are you measuring it just with the money you earn or with what you've achieved in your life? Yeah, life's complicated. And uh, um, you know, there's so many different things that influence that have influenced me in my life. Um, that now, obviously, as I'm older and as I've got into personal development more and, and as I'm really, you know, if you like, diving, in, diving into it, I'm realising that the person I am today is a result of all the people that have moulded me throughout my life, yeah? And, you know, this is something we've got to break out of. We need to say to ourselves now, well, hold on a minute, you know, we're adults, we've, we get to decide what we do. We, we get to decide whether we care about something or not. We get to decide whether we make an investment in ourselves. We get to decide if we make an investment in a business, Nobody else, yeah? So start believing in yourself more. Start appreciating that you are an independent person and that you are the person that gets to decide what it is you want to do. You know what I mean? Don't let all these negative people neg you out. I'm going to end my video now, uh, there. I hope this has made you look at failure in a different way. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. My channel on on uh, YouTube is uh, Colin Talks. My direct link is www.colintalks.co.uk. I'm on LinkedIn under Colin Talks, and I'd really appreciate it if you add me on Facebook. I'm on Colin Talks on Facebook as well. Um, please subscribe to my video. I really appreciate it. Like and share. Hit the notification bell, and then you'll be notified of when I bring another video out. Um, with my channel, you won't get nothing negative from me. You'll get honest reviews, honest talk about how I believe we can move forward. My channel is primarily aimed at people like me, working class people that want to get on in life. You know, that want to, if you like, rise, rise to the next level. You know what I mean? If you're like me and like you've got family, for me, I've got two children, I've got a wife, I've got dogs. Um, and like um, my wife does work, but a lot of the income obviously is coming down to me. And so I am constantly looking at ways of building my um, person, if you like, my character to achieve more. And that is what my channel is all about. It's all about making you achieve more and about making you believe in yourself more. Because 
if you can believe in yourself a little bit more in all the different subjects in personal development, if you can improve in your motivation, your confidence, how you can inspire people, how you can talk better to people, if you can improve just a little bit, 2 3% in all those areas, I'm telling you, it can change your life. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. And uh, um, I hope you've um, obtained and um, got something from my video. Thank you so much.